Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this Godray effect where you have this fog applied to your scene. So the scene itself is just a series of these walls multiplied over and over and I have a camera and I have the, and also I have this light being protruded down here, this V-ray light entering into this window just here. Now all these all these meshes are found in Megascans, you can get them for free and make your own scene as well in here. Now, starting out, this is a very quick video. So all you need to do is in your camera, once you've set hit eight, go here and go to add. And we're gonna add in a V-Ray environment fog. Click okay. And then one thing I have when I scroll down here, the very first thing we're gonna see is this fog distance. And I've created this box here which I call fog area. And it's a rough box, let me just move this, that has, encompasses pretty much everything we need the fog to be in. Now that's just to give me a rough measurement. So if I go into the utilities, go down here into measure, I can see this is around 16 meters. Now the measurement we want to look at is the biggest one of the X and Y. So it's the X, which is 16 meters, and the Z, which is five meters. Now what I'm gonna do in here is I'm going to double the largest distance to 32. So that way it's just creating a 32 by 32 box. And then the height, I want to set to just the maximum, say seven meters just to be safe. Now, once this is in effect, let's see what it looks like. So straight away, we get a really interesting look. Now, this is perfect if you're saying you're just waking up in the morning, but what I'm looking for is more of a nighttime, the moon is coming in and creating those light rays coming in. So how do I do that? Well, there's two ways you can do it, or at least a combination, which, which is what I do is, so first of all, if you hit eight, again, you can bring this over. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to my environment fog, scroll down, I'm gonna change the fog color. So I'm gonna change this to something blue. And as you can see, the fog color itself is changing to that blue. I'm gonna go for something a bit dark. I'm gonna click okay. So once that's rendering, you can see the fog is becoming blue, but the light coming in is very bright. So I'm going to change the color of the light as well. So in my V-Ray Sun, I'm going to click and drag this fog color. I'm going to put it into my filter color. Then I'm going to say copy. And now that light is going to have the same color as our fog, but I want the fog to be slightly brighter. So I'm actually going to adjust this fog and I'm going to bring up the saturation and bring up the lightness a bit. Maybe not too much in the saturation, maybe keep it up here a bit. And then I'm gonna click okay. And just like that, we get a totally different look. Now the settings in here, you can increase these scatter bounces to get a better result. You can leave most of these at default. Um, one thing you can change if you want is the textures in here. So you can change the transparency. So what you could do is I can click in here. I can type in say smoke. Double click that and it will create a map which changes the look and feel of that fog and make it look a bit more smoky. Now, I don't like the size of this. So what I can do is go into my material editor, pop this in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size of this to something like five, something like that. And um, let's turn the blur down to 0.5. And then I think we get a bit of a better result. Now, another thing is it's quite dark in here. You could leave this going and get a better look, but there's two ways you can do this. The first one is more demanding on your PC. So what you can do is this scatter GI, you can check this. And what that's going to do is it's going to use a global illumination and make things in the scene a lot brighter because it's going to globally illuminate it a bit more. As you can see, you get that result. Now that looks a bit blue, you might want to readjust things, but this is a lot slower. So what I do instead is in my settings here, if I expand this, I have a light mix added in. What I can do is I can go to my V-Ray Sun or my environment and I can change these. So if I go to my environment and put this up to say 10, you can see now the environment itself is getting brighter. And I can use that instead of using the GI, which is a lot slower. Now this is up to you. As you can see, it takes a while to calculate the denoise is having a bit of effect. If I switch off the denoise, you'll see this fog does take a while to calculate. So you're gonna have to wait a while for this to <clears throat> catch up and give you that global illumination. So overall, the look I'm looking for is I'm gonna bring this back to something like two. And if you want, you can go into your V-Ray Sun and you can bring this up and down depending on what you're looking for. 
and eventually you'll get your fog working just exactly as you want. Um, it's a very powerful tool and it's very easy and affordable to use. So I hope this helped a bit and I'll see you in the next video.